Hello everybody, Jim here and in this video I have a really cool and sweet and short training for my subscribers and my members of my Super Academy Club and all my members that are on my list in general. Pretty free, uh, pretty free, free training, no opt-in, uh, no to, you know, set up time and stuff like that. I'm not gonna uh, spam your inbox, I don't want to do that. I have uh, more important stuff to say, you know, to do than to say bye 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 my stuff uh, because you know I'm not interested to for you specifically to buy my stuff. I already have my customers now. In this video, if you wanna buy, I mean, uh, by all means <laughs> buy, but you know, don't take it like pits because this would be a training. So. In this training, we will talk about uh, e-commerce, e-commerce, okay, I don't know if you can see about that, uh, let me actually change my marker, here, in the, the black, the big one, great, okay, can you see the, here, this, great, e-commerce and how to do it the proper way, and how to make your ads effective and how to make some of this okay now the what is the issue okay can you see me great uh, a lot of people they want to make this but they don't know how to do it so what they do they first of all they have a product Okay, we'll say they have a product. They try to sell it, and this product doesn't generate sales. It converts, let's say, low conversions. Let's say uh, to be low, like uh, one percent or less. Let's say that it converts, like you know, most of you, you convert like zero point nine. 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 1 1.3, whatever, right? Uh, just to have an idea, uh, above 2% is pretty good. I mean, 5% is great in Shopify store looks, etc. etc. So, now, okay, let's say it converts a 1%, great. Now, a lot of people, the, what is the issue here, okay? What is the problem? I will tell you problem number one, okay? There are actually two, three categories of people. The ones that actually try to make it work, but they are constantly losing money, okay? Those are, you know, some of the best people in the industry. I will tell you why later but at least you know they try to make this work okay uh, how to do it by pushing more traffic so let's uh, have them on the back of your mind now there is another uh, group of people that they actually spend let's say one one k okay they make like 900 buck okay they spend 1k they make 900 buck they go into facebook and they post a screenshot with 900 dollars day i mean what the fuck okay and they claim oh i hit my first 900 day no you're not you're a fucking moron okay um and uh, if you believe uh, other uh, the ones that read and go and you know uh, read stuff the comments they are even more stupid okay now i'm not here to insult your intellect but this is what happens i know that you know that but you don't want to believe that okay and this is a problem this is the root actually of the problem another uh, group of people here is what they do, okay? They spend like 
1k so they make 1 3 okay they do the same they say okay we make 1300 or uh, let's keep it uh, more realistic actually they spend like uh, they keep let's say 100 dollar day let's say for that okay just to keep it you know uh, realistic and to understand better the numbers okay so let's say they hit the first hundred dollar day now i don't care okay if it's profit or loss okay most of you don't understand something some of you they think okay hit the hit a hundred dollar day and think this is all profit if you believe that you're a fucking stupid okay this is what ho what happening right now uh as we speak okay someone goes a hundred dollar day hey congratulate me and you know if you tell the truth they actually you know insult it the sad part is that to hit that a hundred dollar day and let me prove to you they have if you look like let's say five to seven sales now let's break it down let's say that this is five sets okay so this is around let's say 20 bucks so let's say four or that is uh, 20 to 25 okay dollar sale okay so in essence in its sale let's say someone have five sales its sale is around 20 bucks now if you break it that down in order to make that 20 bucks he have product cost okay product cost okay add cost apps Taxes, nobody calculate that. I mean, on the, the new beast, uh, doesn't even calculate that. Tax. They have a uh, fulfillment cost, fees, which is the silent killer of your business. Fees, okay. And Shopify plan, let's say plan. Okay. But let's say. I remove the ad co, I remove everything. Okay, let's say that the product costs around, I don't know, seven dollars. Okay, so from that 20, that everybody thinks, yeah, I make my hundred dollar day or whatever, right? Uh, they actually make 13, actually less than 10 bucks on profit but a lot of people don't want to believe that i mean why you don't want to believe that okay but they want to believe this is false mindset okay uh of course it's sad it, there are stuff i mean typically it's like print on demand uh they buy the shirt i don't know for 10 bucks they sell it for 30, 23 um, usd they generate a sale, let's say five bucks, which is low, okay, and require a lot of testing, okay, test, 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 following design and targeting audiences and stuff like that. And they don't even make like seven bucks on actual profit, minus all this, uh, they don't even make like four bucks, but you know, they falsely believe that they make a hundred dollars don't fall into that trap okay this okay i understand it's stupid okay uh to to believe in high numbers now i do high numbers a lot of people do high numbers but first we know what we're doing and i have all that area to explain to you i know what i'm doing other people know what they're doing okay but but who spend money months okay now this this is stupid and if someone you tell him hey you are stupid if you think that you hit your hundred dollar day 
what's your goal? I mean, if you make seven dollar profit, well, with five cents you make like thirty five bucks. With four cents you make you make like thirty bucks. Now the thirty or thirty five to a hundred, the big difference. Okay. Now. Now, there is another group of people, okay, which I talked in the beginning, which they try to make it work, okay. They might spend, you know, 20 bucks, okay. They might make back, okay, this is the spend. They might make back 80 or 69 or 79 okay but those people they have the highest chance to win i mean someone might they say hey this they know some around how to do it these they are you know misled themselves okay why these make the lowest amount um they have potential well one of the reasons that if you are into that category is because they are actually doing stuff instead of wasting their time okay now this video is for the ones that actually do stuff so let's say that you try to do stuff okay and your store for some reason converts at one percent most of you okay what is before the product i will tell you there is something called ad okay okay now most of you focus here okay if this you say you might oh this doesn't work oh. I mean, some of you might say, oh, my product suck. I need to test, 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 test. No, you don't. Okay, you don't need to test a uh, hundred products. Okay, and if a guru tells you, hey, you need to test as many products as possible, he's stupid. Okay, I'm telling to you. Now, why I'm telling that to you? Well, let's say that you test i don't know five to ten products a day okay let's say five products a day so you sh you you okay as a unit you test 30 okay to 40 products per week okay shopify is around i don't know 200,000 stores 300,000 but let's say that uh, together there are like I don't know sixty thousand sellers. Some might have two pro two stores, three stores, five stores, etc. etc. Uh, I for one I have four stores, okay? Two there are my own, another two there are like 50-50 partners with other people. Now Let's say that there are 60,000 people, okay, 60,000 marketers like me, like you, like anybody. If we spend like $40 per week, we will test 200, okay, K products per month. This is insane. In less than a year, we will end up with no products, okay. Now, instead of doing that, okay and spread yourself to think because listen if the guru tell you to you know test products also he will tell you to buy his course at 997-1997-2997 obviously they have a course okay to promote i have a course my, myself as well i'm not on that range neither to that neither to that this is another thing but 
they will tell you, hey, pay, pay me 1K, pay me 2K, pay me 3K, but you can start with 5 bucks. With $5. I mean, what the fuck? Does this sound to you like, why to give 3,000 but you can start with 5? And there are so more ones, okay? Someone think the, the number 5 and they say, okay, let's go with 5 and everybody is the, the blind leading the blind. You can start with 3 bucks. Well, buy my course at 5k, right? No, it's not cool. They don't tell you, first of all, how many of these $5 ad sets you need to test per day. Let's say that you test 10, 10 per day. Let's say, uh, I mean, let's say that you test 30 products, okay, uh, per week. And let's say that you uh, have like three ad sets, okay, per product. I mean, three different audiences. This is way, 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 way too small, not even a proper split test. And let's say that you do that, I do that for seven days. Let's say you do that for three days, as everybody say. I mean, if you do three days, you are still stupid. It's not your fault. This is how they told to you. But let me tell you, in most of the stuff, uh, everything related to marketing, you need to use some common sense. Another day is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Another day is Wednesday, Friday, sin Sunday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, for me, Saturday and Sunday, I get the highest conversions. For you, it might other day work different. So, you know, uh, three days, you don't give a third sense every day. So to see what's going on, but nonetheless, they tell you, hey, spend five bucks for three days, 15 bucks. After I spend 15 bucks, 20 bucks, I shut down the product. Well, you're a fucking moron. If you sell a product of, you know, 300 bucks, okay, at this type of product, well, will you stop at after 15 bucks? If you sell a house, at one million dollar per se or a hundred thousand dollar per se okay will you stop at five bucks well if you do that you don't know shit anyways uh, now let's say that you spend like 30 bucks three dollars i mean you will have like uh three ad sets at five bucks as every guru said well you will run 90 ad sets on the low end at five bucks each okay so you will run 450 per day okay if you test that in three days okay so you will spend 100 in uh, you know you will spend that amount of money and then you will go into the groups and you will say oh i spent one thousand bucks why did i didn't have a sale no you don't you spend five bucks okay this is per ad set. don't think like you know i spend that amount much of facebook this is scam this doesn't work no you spend that okay you spend five bucks now let's continue now where is the problem and what, where I want to take you, right? Well, I will tell you. The first thing that I want to say to you is the five bucks ad is wrong. Especially now with Q4. Some of you might have noticed that, uh, that the CPM, another thing that I want to tell you. Facebook Gene CPM. Okay, this is the unit. CPM. CPM is 1000 views. Now, that 1000 views are 1000 different people, or one person see, you know, your ad 1000 times, same thing. 1000 views. This is how Facebook charts. A lot of you think, okay, that Facebook charges you in CPC. Well, you're fighting moron. Now, why I say that? 
Okay, there is a reason. Well, if you think that Facebook charges you on CPC basis, well, me, I could run an ad, okay, forever. Well, if nobody clicks, I would pay zero. Well, no problem. I could run every product, every ad, if nobody clicks, well, I'm not paying, right? Wrong. Facebook charge on CPM. They don't care. They care actually because it's all about customer. In order to have this low, you need this and this to be good. But at the end of the day, they don't care about how many people they click your ad, how many people they see your ad, and how many auctions you participate, your ad participate, and how many win. So, you know, uh, more people see your stuff. Now, why I do these lessons? Well, this lesson is not only to teach you about, you know, the mechanics and stuff like that. It's to understand the process. If you don't know th those stuff, you will always, you know, you will be delusional. Okay? That's the truth. And nobody, nobody tells you that. And I hope you appreciate it, to say the least. Now, let's continue a lot of people okay they focus on this which this is create this has three things okay yes one is the target okay. this is the most important thing two is the creative the second most important thing okay you need to target first the right person and then to grab him his attention with that three is the ad copy ad copy we care about that but it's not the essential. If this and this are good, this can work. I mean, you can have short copy, uh, long form copy, it will work, okay, no matter what. Now, a lot of people, they focus on that, especially on targeting, uh, less on creative. I mean, they put the best uh, thinking ad, the best the one that they think, and they go with that good great i mean you can do that pray to have some success you will need that and the copy i mean we don't care about that so much okay if you have good product now other people they care about the product the product as product right well my product suck i need to find another one on aliexpress whatever right but 99% that they don't get results, it's not this or this, and you don't even know that. And let me tell you, okay, the reasons, the, the main reason that this and this doesn't work and gives you high CPM, get less money, okay, instead of getting a lot of money, Okay, it's not about this, it's not about this. So, Jim, Dimitri, tell me, what is the problem? Well, the problem is... Website. Okay. This is where the problem lies. Okay. So, we have three categories in e-commerce. One is our website. It, this is the most important thing. This is where everything starts. This is where you have your product. This is where you have your brand. This is where you process the payment. This is where you do everything. The second is the ad. This is important if you have this correct. If you don't have this, you can try yourself as long as you want. You can burn money. 
you will get little to no results or you need to hard try to get results. I mean, yes, you can make 1K, 2K, 5K a day, but you need to go through hell and back in order to achieve that results, okay? And everybody thinking that, hey, we need to do the same. No, there is a smart way. Product, then this is the third area, which is most important. Now, here is the other problem that a lot of people facing, okay? I will flood up. They go in and they post their ad campaign because it doesn't work, okay? They post their numbers and they say, okay, what I did wrong? Well, you're a fucking moron. Well, why? Because you think this is wrong. Have you checked this? Okay? Because 99%, let's say it's this, okay? Let's say I will tell you two things, okay? And I will cut this training short, okay? In an ideal world, we have unlimited budget for advertising. Unlimited. Donald Trump, think it like Donald Trump is nothing, okay? Unlimited budget. Let's say your Facebook platform is yours. You advertising with free money as long as you want, okay? Well, if that sucks, okay, and ha doesn't have the ability to take the person that wants this side to your side, and this side doesn't have the ability to convert that person into a sale, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Not it doesn't matter that someone goes there. It doesn't matter if you have unlimited budget, okay? I don't want to insult you. But honestly, it doesn't matter if you have unlimited budget because you will get zero to low sales, okay? And this is the marketing problem. Okay, you focus there, don't focus there. Okay, now this world is not ideal, right? And we don't have unlimited budget, and even if we had, we're not, you know, that crazy to spend all the budget to get zero to, you know, low to zero results, right? So the problem is not here, my friend. It's here, okay? Now, then it's here, and then it's here. But there is steps one, two, three. Okay, good website, high converting product, good ad. Now, most they go on the step three. As you know, a very successful marketer, Adrian Morrison, he's a beast on e commerce, said, like, hey, a lot of people they try to jump on the step number five uh, out from the beginning. Well, stupid person. Okay, if it was to start on number five, the number five, it wasn't be number five, it would be number one, right? That's why you have numbers. Nobody fits that, I mean, almost nobody, I fits that, but I don't care if you join my super academy club. Now, let's go on the website. The website needs to have some essential stuff. First and foremost, the theme needs to be fast, okay? And a lot of people, they do one mistake, okay? In terms of speed, because there are fucking morons, okay? They go into the Google website speed or GT metrics or Google developers and they are delusional to say the least. Now, what do I mean? They get their domain. Okay. And they go in the speed test and then they post like two seconds or lower, whatever, right? Let me ask one question. Are you spending money on ads? Do you send them on the front end of the, your website or in your product page? Answer. In your product, right? So why the hell you test your front end, your domain, 
like zill.com, facebook.com, and don't test your product page, the page, the most important page of your business, and the page that actually bring you money. Let, I will tell you why. Because nobody told you that. Uh, uh, the, the stupidest person, they try this, they get the, the domain, they show in a fucking YouTube video, and you assume this is right. Right? Well, wrong. You need to test your product page. This is the page that you are interested, okay? And if you're not interested on your product page, believe me, okay, your customer is interested about this page, okay? But, you know, the second thing is your theme, which is the most important, okay, needs to be optimized. Optimized is is different thing from a responsive, okay? Okay, now let me tell you what is responsive to understand the difference, okay? Because a lot of people, they say optimized, they say responsive. A lot, a lot of people, they uh, miss, uh, read what's inside, uh, it's one of these, well, responsive is, we have the mobile, we have different versions of mobile, I have LG G4, you might have iPhone, another might have, you know, Samsung Galaxy, another might have Huawei, or whatever, right? Tablet, desktop. This is the image, the, the product, the website to fit in all screens. This is responsive. Okay, if I go from desktop and if I go from mobile and if I go from tablet, different versions, it will look, you know, almost the same. It will load. It won't be like, um, like small button and the letters bigger outside of the button, etc., etc. Now, optimized is an entire different thing. Optimized is more about the layout. What do I mean? Well, you have the product page, you might have here the hero shot, you might have here the title, here you might have your price, here you might have, you know, how much they say, here you might have some stars for review, here you might have some swatches or some drop down, here you might have a big clear call to action above the fold, uh, here you might have some tabs okay because very important you don't want the user to go very fun policy in another page 99 percent if they go in another page you know you will lose them here you might have some trust badges at the bottom as well and of course here you might have a good footer okay and this to be you know high converting okay and needs to be fast okay now the problem is most of you they go into you know shopify you get a free theme i don't know if you can see me you get like supply or the bot the boot whatever right and they try at the simple okay free and they say oh okay i built my site well no you're not okay responsive and another thing is the theme and the website to have something called conversions okay conversions I mean, booster okay conversion boosters actually multiple okay most of the most of the people they focus on the front end of the website they don't focus in the most important page of your of their business which is the product page and the second most important piece page of their business is actually the cart page so your business essentially is two pages okay the product page the card page 
a lot of you skip the card page, it might cut your conversions, it might increase your conversions, it's not standard, it's depending on the product to product. Some people say they disrupt the flow, some other they say it's faster. Well, the truth is on the cheap items, it's better to not have card page on the higher end, you know, have some trustworthiness and to be more legit. So it's better flow to have product to car to check out and of course in the checkout uh, we have an app a super app that you know solve the problem of lots of abandonment cards and less sales that is you know the beast we see like a hundred to two hundred percent ROI with that app alone on our ad spend but you know this is what we do in our business but you, what you should do in your business is not focus on the front end of your website okay focus on the most two important pages of your business product page card page now luckily okay uh, i will roll out a super theme that will have all that in place this 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 and it would be high converting of course i will put my app outside in the market you know, uh, as part of Super Academy Club, superacademyclub.com, you might want to check out the training, etc., etc. Of course, we do CPA stuff and other stuff like backend and stuff like that. Uh, super uh, amazing stuff. But you know, this is my product. What do you expect to say? Now, does this thing sound wrong? All right. What do I mean? Well, from that lessons, from that lesson, not lessons, excuse my English, if you see that. Amazing. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And listen. What I want you to take from this lesson, don't get intimidated by high numbers. This is revenue, this is not profit. So you don't, I don't want you, if you are part of my business, my student, or part of my staff, or part of know my staff, but you know, just follow me, or you know, just want to jump in e-commerce without following me. I don't want you to get intimidated by revenue. Revenue doesn't say shit. One thing is the one that uh, have uh, play a big role and this is profit. Okay? Number two, don't focus on your front end of your website. Okay? On the front end, focus on the product page, on the card page. Number three, okay? Give the most gravity in your website. Okay? Not in that, not in that. If you have a lot of people but you can't convert them, well, it doesn't, doesn't matter. You still not gonna have sales. The ideal number add to, you know, to your website to translate them into sales. To me is one visitor, one sale. Two visitors, two sales. A hundred visitors, a hundred sales. This is my ideal number. Okay, this is what I want. Of course, do I have? no? I'm pretty close on that. No, but I am way, 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 way higher than you. Why? Because I'm first. First, I maximize and put all my gravity here. Okay, in order to make it that better. Then I test this, okay? But this, to me, it's important, but not so important as this, okay? The most important is this. This, I can change it every day. I don't fucking care, okay? I keep it. If not, I swipe it with another, okay? Then I focus on that. Most of you focus on that, okay, which is wrong.
okay now to me i do this then then this then this okay what do i mean one two three four high converting website good product perfect my app okay and then i try to see okay how much can i sell on those if i can increase my order value if i can have upsells relevant products etc etc and how can i maximize the same customer to buy more stuff on the spot not more stuff on the back end like um, uh, emails and retargeting and remarketing and stuff like that buy on the spot i don't care if it would be bulk more quantities i don't care okay now most of you i want you to to understand the lessons behind the stuff that i say so this is the blueprint okay that we need to focus okay so let's review recap for the last time okay of course you know this for me i have this solved uh, pretty soon uh, it will be solved on your end as well uh, for ups uh, not upsells to for increasing the solving the card issue of course i will have my app but in essence your business is one website that you need to focus 100% on the beginning then the product page okay the most important page of your business because your app potential customer will land into okay the second most important page of everybody everybody 100% of the time not 100% 99% of the time they will use the same card page I mean they don't do anything and they pray to have sales well you're stupid okay especially the free themes let's say I install a free theme you install the free theme we have this the same we have this the same I suck you suck okay then you need to test your product now about products uh, this lesson if I continue we will talk you know for the next week okay now add don't try five bucks five bucks okay it's not working in not it would work like young busters 2016 early 2016 until mid to late i mean not because it's competitive the drop shipping but in order to get something called relevancy score okay relevancy score you need to hit like 500 let's say views okay in order to get that if you run five bucks okay and your cpm is like uh, let's say 50 bucks now you might say 50 bucks is way 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 uh, too high and of course it is but the q4 nowadays i see 100 bucks 80 bucks 35 bucks 90 bucks i mean what's the ideal the ideal is below 15 bucks cpm okay 20 bucks is tolerable i mean of course but let's say that you have 50 bucks cpm well the five bucks how much reach you, you think that you will get well you will get like 100 to let's say 300 reads okay and from that you might get like you know five to nine clicks okay which is like 50 cents per click maybe 30 cents now it's not that it's bad but you don't read the good number to get the relevancy score okay which is important another thing that so you need to to go with 15 
um, 17, I mean, above, above bucks, okay, above 10, let's say 13 bucks, I go with 15 to 17 to 20 bucks, I start, okay, but this is what I do myself, okay, uh, I don't want you to spend more money that you can afford. Um, another tip that I can give you is, uh, with Facebook latest updates, it's all about speed. Right now, fa uh, Facebook favorite uh, fast websites that load uh, below two seconds on the product page, uh, preferably below 1.7, 1 1.5, 1 uh, and less, especially mobile. Uh, they rank higher, okay? Doesn't mean that they have uh, more sales or something like that, but in the news feed, let's see the news feed. We have one, you know, text, maybe another, another text, another text, another group, another ad, okay? And those two ads participate in the set for the same audience, the fastest. One of the stuff that Facebook actually looks is the speed to run it high. Okay, and you win that auction. Of course, it's relevancy score, um, uh, the, the add to the targeting, the product, match, etc., etc., the customer experience, uh, and, and all that stuff. But one of the main reasons right now, as of today, is the website speed. Now, we increase with that. I built it for myself. Uh, I will sell it uh, very, very soon. But this is another thing. If you build your own team or buy another team and don't want you to buy mine, you need, I want you to have those things in mind in order to uh, take your decision. Okay. So I'm not going to recap again because I recap all those stuff three times, four times. So I believe you understand those stuff. And uh, I mean, that's it for that lesson. Uh, pay attention, stay strong, test a lot of stuff. But another pro tip, another thing to test, 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 $5, $10, $20 campaigns, another thing, test, okay. Another thing, run a campaign. And another thing, scale campaign. Okay. Don't spend too much of your time on testing. So that being said, don't spend too much on five dollar, ten dollar, uh, ten dollar campaigns. Actually, run them. Run them. It's like twenty to you know seventy five dollars daily okay that's for me this is i run a campaign okay this is the level that i say okay i run a campaign I found a win a good product with potential i want to you know uh, basically increase the amount of visitors that i receive okay so and another thing obviously this which this is an art and of course you can find more on superacademyclub.com okay uh, all about all this stuff okay that's it for that video uh, i hope you like it i mean if you don't like it i don't care it's your business you can take it you can apply it to your business it might work it might not in my business those stuff work like gangbusters in yours well i don't know i don't know if you are serious of course, if you watch uh, the background, like Super Sales Booster X, etc., etc., it's my private app. Uh, I will be launching that soon, um, in, in the next five, six days. And this app is the bomb, okay? The bomb to say the least, okay? Uh, that's it. And talk again on the next one. Bye, guys.